What's up, WebG community? This is Joe, and we're still here at DeFi Con Dubai 2025. And a man besides me is. Uh, hi, everyone. This is Michael from Brevis. For those who are new to your project, uh, how can you explain the solution that you are bringing into our industry? Sure, yeah. Brevis is an off chain verifiable computing engine. So, what we do is that, uh, you know, when blockchain itself is like, uh, you know, cannot handle certain data intensive or extremely complex computation, you know, instead of doing it on everything on blockchain, you can actually offload the computation to an off-chain environment, do the computation there with extremely low cost, but at the same time generate a zero-knowledge proof about that computation result. So the nice thing about zero-knowledge proof is that you can actually bring the zero-knowledge proof with the computation result all the way back to the blockchain, where smart contract themselves can verify this very simple and succinct proof with extremely low cost. So with this kind of on-chain to off-chain and back on-chain cycle, what you have is a, you know infinite amount of computation power because now you can do computation off chain, but at the same time, same level of security because every combination result is also verified using the ZK proof. So, you know, you can do a lot of things with uh, Brevis. Um, you know, such as uh, scaling up the kind of a combination you can do in your smart contract. Uh, you can build like a user Web 2 to Web 3 bridge using something called ZK TLS that is built with Brevis. Or you can do things like, uh, you know, building individualized uh, user experience in your smart contract by allowing them to prove uh, your, um, prove their like uh, interaction, the user experiences uh, using historical on-chain data and uh, so many things you can uh, do with Brevis. So how does it differs to data indexing? Right, so this is a great question, right? So like what Brevis allows you to do is not just like uh, indexing data off-chain. If you look at all the data indexing uh, solutions, these indexing solutions are for human to read the blockchain data, right? So, you know, if you have some off-chain indexing, reading on-chain data, and if you directly bring the data back to the blockchain, what you lose is the security and the trustworthiness of blockchain. Right, so because now you're trusting this centralized off-chain oracle that is reading data from blockchain. Now, what Brevis does is that it actually generate a zk proof of this data existence and the computation on top of the data, and uh, you know, as if you're just completing the entire computation data access on-chain directly, but with much much lower cost and a much much lower latency. So, why does it matter to the Web3 industry? Right. So, you know, we have uh, we have two products, right? So, like one is called zk co-processor, ZK data co-processor, that allows you to generate the ZK proof of historical on-chain data. So like what this means is that you can now enable a new generation of user experiences on-chain. So for example, we work with PancakeSwap um, and Euro to power their intelligent DeFi features. Like for PancakeSwap v4, we launched uh, something like a, a user trading volume based uh, fee discount with their new hook architecture, right? So you can basically, if uh, you know, this is, this is something that has been uh, you know, available for all centralized exchanges. So if you trade it allowed this month, you get some fee discount next month. But if you look at the DAXs, none of the DAXs today has this kind of a feature. The reason is that this kind of a combination is too hard to do on blockchain directly. Now, what we provide is that you allow DAXs to actually build this kind of a feature in the DAX smart contract directly by uh, tapping into infinite power of off-chain computing. You know, and also we allow things like Euro Money, which is a, a rising start in the stable token ecos ecosystem, to distribute their protocol token in a continuous and trust-free way by allowing users themselves to generate the ZK proof of their interaction with the on-chain, you know, uh, stable token ecosystem, right? So this makes the entire token distribution process trust-free, you know, secure and uh, provably fair because everyone can check that the proof is actually verified on-chain. Amazing, that's something an innovative, uh, you know, uh, project, man. So my next question would be, let's talk about education. So we know that uh, education is one of the crucial part in onboarding uh, Web3 users. So like, how does your project contribute to educating users in the broader community? Yeah, yeah, definitely. So like, uh, you know, I think I think uh, the very important thing uh, for educating, especially developer and user community, is to make your technology simple to use and simple to understand, right? So like, you know, this is why we, uh, you know, we, we for, for our SDK, for example, right? so we build using ZK technology, which is very powerful mass uh, you know, tooling and everything. But like for developers building on top of a Brevis or using Brevis, they don't actually need to know anything about the underlying math. We structure this as a very, very simple to use SDK for them. And also we, we also have the second product of generalized ZK VM that it can just write the Rust program that they used to write without even learning blockchain programming. 
they can actually just like write blockchain applications using ZK because we provide a very, very abstract and easy to use, uh, you know, developer interface. So I think this is kind of uh, the thing that is generally important for Web3 education, that is you make things uh, simpler for both developer and then users. Can you invite our viewers? Where can you reach you out, guys? Follow us everywhere. We are, we are basically everywhere. So we are on Twitter. Um, so the, our Twitter handle is Brevis underscore ZK. So it's a B-R-E-V-I-S underscore ZK. And from there, you can, uh, you know, go to our website and everywhere. So, yeah. All right. So you can check it out, guys, their website, their social media as well. So like my last question would be, what makes you most excited for this year's Token 249 in Dubai? You know, I think uh, this year has a lot of uh, interesting things. If you uh, if you look at the, the uh, you know, amount of side event, uh, the most amount of side event is like actually AI oriented. And, uh, you know, I think combining AI and the crypto is definitely something that uh, we have been looking at a lot. Uh, but I think like if you want to use anything related to AI on crypto, what you really need is a verifiable AI or verifiable inference, right? So like, you know, how do you know, um, you know, if you input something to a black box model, it spit out something, how do you know behind that black box, whether it's a powerful model or a kind of a, you know, low power model is that just faked uh, and pretend to be something that is powerful, right? So like, Verifiable inference solves that kind of a problem using the AK because it can actually generate a proof showing that this output you're getting from this model, from this black box, is actually coming from a pre-committed and pre-tested model. Right, so that's kind of like thing that we are very excited about, especially with the DeFi plus uh, AI, where you can you know build an AI agent that manages and touches uh, users found uh, for user on behalf of user this kind of a verifiability and security becomes even more important because like uh, otherwise, you know, it's indistinguishable between just like using a centralized uh, entity or human to manage user fund. Amazing. So thank you for your time, man, and see you around. Thank you. Yeah.